so that you can see the full spectrum or the possibilities in helping us detect the problem with speckle tracking, I want to show you the following case. This patient definitely has a coronary problem. You can see he has multivessel disease. There are lesions here in the left coronary artery, but also in the circumflex artery. So we know this patient has an ischemic problem. Now let's take a look at his images. Here is the apical long axis view and the two chamber view. And if you're good at detecting regional differences, you will see that the anteroseptal region here and the apical region and even the anterior wall are not contracting normal. There is better contraction here in the basal segments. Let me show you the four chamber view. Again, we see that the apex is contracting worse than the other segments are, but in general, it's a globally reduced function with certain variations in the regional distribution. Can we pick up these regional differences? Well, Obama would say, yes, we can. Here is the bullseye display and exactly what we see with her eye and also what we see with the coronary angiogram. We have a reduction in strain specifically here at the apex and the anterior wall as well as the septum. So if you see this bullseye display, it looks markedly different than some of the others example I showed you previously where we have a more diffuse reduction in longitudinal strain. So in such a patient, it is possible to differentiate between ischemic cardiomyopathy and dilated cardiomyopathy. But be aware that in patients where ischemic cardiomyopathy has progressed very far, where the regional wall motion is really truly globally reduced, it might also be difficult to make this differentiation with speckle tracking.